For today's video, we're going to test out different bait that is used in mouse and rat traps to see what is most effective. That's a question I'm often asked in the comment section of my YouTube videos. People want to know what I use for mouse trap bait. They also leave comments of unusual items that have worked for them, and I want to test it out. So most often, I'll use peanut butter. It's a classic. It works great. You smear that on the trigger of the trap, and mice are attracted to it. Is it going to be the most popular? We'll have to test that out and see. I got Jif brand just because it was the cheapest. It doesn't really matter. It all works well. I also use a lot of sunflower seeds. I mostly set these up in areas I want to trap a week before, get the mice and rats used to coming. They love eating these seeds and that way you can set up the trap and you're more likely to catch them if you have a feeding station set up beforehand. An unusual one someone told me that worked well for them is dry cat food. They say mice and rats love dry cat food. So we're going to test that out and see if that's true. Mice and rats also love chocolate, so I have some Tootsie Rolls here. What I like so much about Tootsie Rolls is you can form it into a ball, put it on the trigger, and the mice and rats have to work a lot harder to get the bait, and they're more likely to set off the trap. Now, since rodents like chocolate and peanut butter, I was also told that Reese's peanut butter cups work well. These are little candies, so we'll see if they come and take those. I've been recreating a lot of mouse traps from a book that was written in 1590, and over 427 years ago, they were using cheese as bait. So this is a classic as well, and people just think mice love cheese. We're gonna see if that's true. I also have a commercial attractant gel bait. It says it's better than cheese or peanut butter, so we'll put that out there and see if the mice like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up in a grid system. The grid's gonna be seven wide and four down, so each of these baits will be available four different times in random order. We're gonna put motion cameras up there in the barn and see which ones the wild mice prefer, and if any of these they don't really like. Here's the grid that I came up with, and you can see that we have 28 different boxes. I have little nails here, so for this one I'm gonna put cheese, peanut butter, cat food. It'll be really interesting to see which ones are gone in the morning, and with motion cameras, which ones the mice visit first and eat. So let's test this out. Let's set this up, and I'll show you what that looks like. Just add the last of the attractant gel. It's like this green goop. And here's our mouse buffet. We're gonna set this out in the barn. They have so many different options, and we're gonna see if they prefer one to the other. It'll be interesting with the motion cameras which one they come to first. So let's go set this up and see which is the best bait for a mouse trap. Here's the results after just one night out in the barn with wild mice. Pretty much any of the loose food, the bait that wasn't pinned down, is gone. That's pretty common. Mice will find a food source and carry it back and cache it for later. So all that cat food, all the sunflower seeds, all the peanut butter cups were taken away. All the peanut butters look clean and even the attractant gel in this one. So that works as well. And then we have Tootsie Rolls and cheese that have non-marks. Now it's important to note that they seem to prefer the peanut butter they came to that first, also the sunflower seeds, but any of this will work. I was surprised even they liked the cat food. Now the reason that the Tootsie Rolls and cheese is still here is they were pinned down and they're a lot more firm. The mice had to work a lot harder to get them. I bet if I left this a few more nights, these would be gone as well. They just have gnaw marks all over them. And even though this isn't what they came to first, it's important to note that they'll spend time working at this. And if you put this on a trap, that's key. Because if Tootsie Rolls or cheese are attached to the trigger, they'll pull on it and they're more likely to set off the trap. The peanut butter, they'll just sit there and lick it clean. They might not even pull on it. So Tootsie Rolls and cheese do make good bait, even though it might not be what they come to first. And those peanut butter cups, mice love peanut butter and chocolate, so it's a good combination. They seem to really go for the peanut butter cups. I'm going to use Tootsie Rolls as bait a lot more for mouse traps, just because they have to pull it and you're way more likely to get them. Cheese worked too, but it seemed like it was their least favorite. So the old adage that mice love cheese might not be as true, at least for this cheddar cheese. Now I'm curious if I'm gonna get the same results with rats. I have a few barns that are loaded with rats. I'm gonna do the exact same bait combination in the same areas, 
and see if rats prefer the same as mice. So let's go set that up with motion cameras and see which bait the rats prefer. Here's the results after having a wild rat feed at our bait buffet all night long. No surprise, they love peanut butter. Every single peanut butter station is lit completely clean. Same with sunflower seeds. There's not a trace of the sunflower seeds, a great bait. Also, they love the candy peanut butter cups. Those were taken off the nail, so they love the chocolate and peanut butter. What they don't like is Tootsie Rolls. They didn't really seem too interested in those. Or cheese, this is just cheddar cheese. Maybe other varieties work better but there's not a trace of any kind of gnawing on the cheese. So when they have an option, cheese is not their favorite. Also, the cat food wasn't really touched at all. And then this professional attractant, they seemed interested in it. They came and smelled, they even licked this one clean. After reviewing motion camera footage, it's clear that both mice and rats love peanut butter. They seem to go to those stations first when they had a huge selection of bait. The problem is they can lick it off and they might not set off a trap. So what I recommend is to use a solid bait like a Tootsie Roll, a hunk of cheese, a peanut butter cup, and then put peanut butter on top of it. The peanut butter will bring them in and attract it to it, and then they'll work to get that more solid bait, and they'll set off the trap. Also, I was surprised that mice like cat food. If you set out cat or dog food in your garage or in the barn, the mice might be attracted to that, and you might be causing a bigger problem by giving them a food source. They like to attract it gel as well. I don't know if it's better than peanut butter. The sunflower seeds work really well as a bait station. You can put them in little piles all around and when they disappear, you know you have a mouse or rat to catch. They also condition the animals to come and feed. Then you can set up a trap with a good bait like peanut butter and some Tootsie Rolls and then you can catch them. Now if you have any suggestions for other baits you'd like me to try, put them in the comment section and I'll do this test again, see if we can get some odd ones. Something that you think will work or you've used, just put a comment down there below.